here we are. I don't trust Joe Petty, and I'll tell you why. I pointed to my man Dredge Mike, and I said, Dredge Mike! I remember when you went to City Hall, what happened was uh, Mosaic got audited because Michael Gaffney, and he came and he said, you know, hey, they're uh, doing something wrong. And Mosaic came back non-fraudulent. So Michael Gaffney says, well, I think we should do another audit or we should have an outside source uh, we should do something. And I'm like, come on, man. This is, but I expect our mayor, who has everybody's interests in mind, he's going to stop and say, you know what? Just cut this out. Stop what he's saying. But no, he didn't. Not only did he not do that, I remember it like yesterday. I remember Dred St. Mike, I remember shout out to Dredd St. Mike. I remember him standing up during the city council meeting and saying, respect, you can't be serious. This is BS. Hey. Okay, throw him out. Throw him out. No, they stop. The second time you did it, it's nothing. Okay, please leave the room. Please leave the room. Hey. This whole team is Bullshit. Hey, have a little respect, please. Respect? Yeah, please. Please. So, Council Gaffney. And our mayor said, no, you got to go. Get out. Uh, you, you can't have that in here. You can't have that in here. I understand you're the mayor. And as a mayor, you have, there's certain things you have to abide by. There's certain rules that you have to go by. And you should not be encouraging protests and stuff, right? Well, wrong. Because when the same man who went at Mosaic went at you, oh, you sent an email out and you wanted everybody to show up. Everybody! You sounded like Chuck Chillin. Shut off to Chuck Chillin. Tell your mama, tell a friend, tell your mama in there, tell everyone in there. You wanted everybody to come. And guess what? Everybody did come. Everybody showed up. I mean, it was standing room only outside of City Hall. It was barely standing room only. People came from all over Worcester, all over Massachusetts, not even just Worcester. They were coming from North Road, South Road, North Ridge, South Ridge. They coming from everywhere, like everywhere, everywhere. And they all came in front of City Hall, and they were chanting things. They were championing the fight for immigrants. They want to keep Muslims from being targeted just because of their religion. What Donald Trump proposed was scary to them. And you were standing out there, and you were happy, you were proud. You gave your little speech. Everybody, a couple other people gave their speeches. It was beautiful. Kumbaya. Michael Gaffney was somewhere inside, like, uh, I, I can't do, I can't do a Cheers Worcester now, but I wish I could do a Cheers Worcester because I'd make myself a drink right now because this is, this is looking, you know, really, really bad. It's looking really bad for me. Like right now, people, they're upset because it's looking really bad right now. Yeah, it was looking bad for you, Michael. Mr. City Council, it was looking bad for you. I said, oh, it's a wrap. Oh, Joe, you know, with what he did last night, he just basically solidified himself as mayor this coming November. Who was going to beat that man? That man had over a thousand people in front of City Hall. What are we talking about? Who's going to go against him? Certainly not Michael Gaffney. And, and one thing before I continue, if you are the people's counselor, why the hell were so many people there? Because they were mad at you. If you are the man of the people, where were they? Because the people that I saw, they don't they don't claim you, bruh. They don't claim you. They were throwing up, you know, Joe Petty gang signs. They were not throwing up Michael Gaffney gang signs. MG, none of them are doing that. In all seriousness, to, to let me, I gotta make sure I get this out too. To all seriousness, a lot of those organizers and a lot of those people who work tirelessly to make that a success, kudos to you, you did your thing, you promoted it, you reached out to people, you got other people involved, Black Lives Matter was involved, shout out to Julius Jones, uh, NAACP was involved, even though I didn't know there was NAACP in Worcester, but you were involved too. So I, I gotta give credit where credit was due. You guys did your thing last night. I give you props. Break some glass for the community organizers last night. You guys are the real MVP. But, and there's a but, something else happened. What happened was, as soon as the uh, pep rally, they call it, I guess it was, I guess uh, the mayor thought it was a pep rally. As soon as the pep rally was over, you, yes you, went inside for the city council meeting. You sat down, you got your little gavel, you're for the people, you're excited, you're on a high because all these people, they just vindicated you. They just showed that there ain't nobody who's going to take you off of your pedestal as mayor. You're the man! Grab you! So, you're sitting there, then all of a sudden, you didn't realize them thousand people followed you into City Hall. They followed your behind up in that piece, and my God, 
What the hell were you expecting? The city council had to still vote if they were going to go ahead with the resolution or if they weren't going to go with the resolution, if they were going to uh, uh, side with Michael Gaffney or if they were going to go against Michael Gaffney. Don't you think, did it, did it, for what's occur to you, uh, Mr. Petty, that these people may have wanted to see what was going to happen? Did it, did it maybe occur to you that a lot of these people who are standing out there protesting might have wanted to stand in front of Michael Gaffney and say, hey, listen, stop acting like Donald Trump. You're not Donald Trump. Yeah, he is real. Don't you think some people would have wanted to do that? But you didn't think about that. No. You were just sitting there, gavel ready, wanted law and order all of a sudden. You went from being a man to the people and quick as a flash, a man of the establishment. You did. So the people are, are, in, the, are in the hallways. They're, they're on the stairs, just like it was outside, standing from only. Could have fit a thousand people in there, but they sure tried. You're sitting there and you're, my gosh, okay, we just did the rally. I'm tired of I just want to get this over with. I mean, I won. Look at Michael Gaffney over there. Look at him over there, looking all sad, because they they're about to give him the business. He even made a comment to Michael Gaffney, because Michael Gaffney did say, you brought them here, and Joe Petty said, I'm proud of it. So why, oh why, oh why, did you have the nerve to call them stupid, to call them morons, and to call them uneducated? <laughs> you got people who... What? Explain that to me. Everybody's going up. Everybody's talking to, you know, indirectly to Michael Gaffney. I was watching this live. It was beautiful. And I'm like, okay. You know, they really did their thing. And I was like, man. As a matter of fact, they're getting some momentum because they just did a, a women's march in, in, in D.C. that ended up being a worldwide march. Same thing for yesterday. Hey, truth you think a lot of people are going to show up to this rally from Joe Petty tomorrow? Nah, I swear. It's snowing, man. Ain't nobody going to say it. What's the time? Black people don't be out in the snow. But guess what happened? They came out. All for you. All for the immigrants. You led the charge. And then they voted on it. Nine to two. In other words, it was a shutout. Because you, you can't... <laughs> you know Michael Gaffney says he's the one who proposed... You know he's not going to vote on it. And you know Connie Lukes, she just... what She says, whatever is the most popular, I'm just going to go against it. That's Connie Lukes. So you know, it, it, you, you got to kind of put them to the side. Other than that, it was a landslide. It was a sweep. Get the broom out. You swept them. You won. And you solidified yourself to beating him this November. Because the people have spoken. They don't want to deal with Michael Gaffney's crap. So this is over. Go to sleep. Wake up this morning. The video sent to me. Videos sent to me, by the way. Then I went on Twitter. Videos sent to me, by the way. And no, it wasn't from TurtleBoySports.com. Please get your life with that. And, and speaking of that, let me let me just say something real quick about uh, that as well. I don't care if it's a donkey's anus that is telling the truth. If it is the truth, it is the truth. So I don't care if it came from Turtle Boy Sports or if it came from Frog Man. And knitting? It don't matter where it came from, it's the truth! He said it! He called the protesters that he called to City Hall moron, uneducated, idiots. He did that. Uh, miss me with the, yo, we just need a couple minutes to, uh, we just want to bask in the glory for a couple minutes, and you're ruining it. The truth, I didn't ruin it! I didn't call you guys morons! Joe Petty did! The mayor did! I didn't call you guys uneducated! I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't take away from what happened yesterday. The mayor did. I'm not the reason why no one's talking about the success of a thousand people being in front of City Hall. The mayor is. What are we talking about? How the hell are you guys getting mad at truth it, but telling the damn truth? How, Sway? Grab y'all. So we're going to get bent out of shape because truth it says, hey, guess what? Remember when I said yesterday not to trust Joe Petty? He wants us to turn up now because Gaffney's on his neck. I'm when Gaffney was on us, it was a problem. I'm but now he's on you, else, it's a problem. Proven, and y'all got the nerve to get mad at truth it. You got the nerve to get mad at me for telling the truth. But I guess when, when, when someone brings the truth you don't want to hear, you attack the messenger, don't you? That's what we do. I don't want to say liberals, even though it is liberals, but that's what we do. So many times today, I had to say to people, just tell me where I'm wrong. Just tell me where I'm lying. And you know what pushback I got? I got so much weird, different pushback. Oh, uh, you've never been mad and, and, and said, uh, called anyone a moron before? Yes, guess what? I have called people morons. Loved ones morons. But I never went as far as say, oh, morons. You know what? They're uneducated. They're 
uneducated, you're stupid, stupid, stupid. No, that, no, never, no, no! Especially not right after they helped me! So to answer your question, no, I've never, ever in my life called anyone a moron some 40 minutes after they helped me! What are we talking about? This is insanity, this is insane that I have to talk and defend myself when Mayor Petty is the one who betrayed you. When Mayor Petty is the reason why everything you did is now a loss. Looks bad. And I, wait, whoa, forgive me. I was just wrong right there because you didn't lose. All the stuff you guys went to accomplish there, you accomplished yesterday. But the fact of the matter remains that this guy who was your hero, oh, Mayor Petty, the mayor for the people. A lot of you were saying that. Oh, Mayor Petty, mayor for the people, mayor for the people. Catch me outside then, how about that? Let's take a quick break, we'll be right back on the one, two, three, four, five o'clock show.